certainly an exciting time all across the country in college football. And we're excited today, today to, to announce uh, our signing class for 2015. And uh, certainly this is an extremely athletic group that's going to address our needs for the immediate future and also for the future of our football program. Uh, but more importantly, uh, we feel very confident that our, our staff and campus and community has done a tremendous job recruiting the right people. And uh, we're excited to announce this group today and, and welcome them to Bulldog football and our Bulldog family. Well, I think the first question would have to be about the one local name that we've seen on there. Uh, what did you see from Cole? And talk about the decision to move him to tight end. Yeah, Cole Zeidmulder is a uh, you know he's a he's a unique athlete uh, to be a three sport athlete and to excel at all three um, is you know he's a, he was a no brainer for us to recruit. It was just finding his niche as an athlete and uh, you look at Cole's makeup right now. He's a he's a six five athlete that will develop into being a tight end in our football program. So we're very fortunate to have him, and he's been a leader uh, in Hermantown and in the community, and, and uh, I think he'll, he'll fit well into our offense. Is, is he a guy that you're planning on redshirting next year, or is he a guy that could see playing time as a freshman? Yeah, you know, our intent with, with most of these guys is going to be to redshirt them. Um, you know, certainly as fall camp and, and spring practice wrap up, and we may have some immediate needs in the future here. Uh, some of these guys may fill some of those holes, but uh, you know, Cole certainly is a guy that's going to need to develop at the tight end position and develop physically uh, to be able to play on the line of scrimmage. But certainly a guy that I see playing early on in his career and in full value uniform. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, uh, Coach. Uh, you got two guys from Eau Claire Memorial. Uh, we you got a quarterback and an offensive lineman. You know, some big kids. You know, what are you going to say about them? Yeah, you know, both guys are guys that we've had not only at team camp but also uh, on camp or in, in camp on, on campus at UMD. We've known a lot about both these guys, and uh, you know, starting with Ben Everhart. Ben's a, just a tremendous leader. A uh, guy that when you recruit the quarterback position, you're looking for a lot of things on film, but also the intangibles. And you look at Ben Everhart and um, just having the, the chance to coach him and, and see the way that he interacts with his teammates, both these guys. And uh, both have been tremendous leaders, and we're excited to welcome both the Oakland Memorial guys to our family. So you've got a lot of uh, like pairs in recruitment. I mean, how did, how did that work out? How did that happen? You got so many pairs. Pairs as far as teammates? As far as teammates coming to you and me. Yeah, you know, sometimes that's a, a product of good high school football teams. You look at just Monash, for example, you know, their state championship team, and uh, we recruited quite a few of the guys off that team. And um, sometimes that's just kind of how things work out. Sometimes you, you end up with two or three guys that are teammates. and. You also have a couple guys from that high school with our football program right now that have had good experiences and, and good careers here. So um, you know, we're, we're uh, you know, certainly always open to, to welcoming a couple guys from the, from the same team into our football program. Maybe not as many local names as we're accustomed to seeing on this list, but is that a sign more so about the expanding reach uh, given the success over the past six or seven years? Yeah, you know, I think just the, our recruiting area, you know, um, I don't think will necessarily ever change. We're just, you know, for us and for these guys, you know, we're looking for the right fit. And, um, you know, we feel the group that we have, uh, that we have a right fit with the, with the guys in the class that we have coming in and certainly you know, taking a look at local guys will always be first and foremost for our football program, and you know we're we're excited to have an opportunity to, to sign 23 or 24 guys from the state of Wisconsin and the state of Minnesota. So, um, you know, certainly we're we're going to continue to stay local, and that'll be our bread and butter. When you look at this list, some some schools like Rose Mountain appear. These are schools that you know you had success getting recruits at before. How important is it to keep those pipelines open and keep bringing the best athletes from those schools here? Yeah, you know, recruiting is more about relationships than it is anything else. And, uh, you know, if we have guys like Ben Loth and Chase Bogler coming from Menasha and from Rosemont High School and, you know, guys that are on the wall behind me uh, that had an opportunity to win a national championship, these guys are back in their high schools and uh, with their high school coaches spreading the word about UMD football in the, in the community of, of Duluth. So, um, it's always it's important to build relationships, and you know sometimes those will lead to uh, recruiting paths for you down the future. Are there any specific positions you were looking to looking to fill with this uh, recruiting class? Well, I, I you know a couple things. First of all, every year you're really trying to out recruit your next class and, and trying to improve your football program. So 
Uh, I think every year you go into it uh, certainly with maybe higher needs than uh, other, other years in certain positions. Uh, this is a class that we needed to fill some holes and, and um, you know, develop some depth within our football program. Uh, you know, the quarterback position, for example, you know, we have two quarterbacks on our roster right now moving forward. So you know, it was important for us to get not only two quarterbacks in this class, but, but the right fit and guys that can fit our offense. So when you say you're trying to, you know, out recruit your previous classes, do you think you've done that this year? Uh, we believe so, you know, but you know, I think we're also uh, one of five or six hundred programs in the country that better be excited about their recruiting class. There's a reason we uh, recruited these young men. I think they're tremendous people. Uh, they're quality students and good football players. So, um, you know, the the real test will come in the fall when we have an opportunity to, to work with these guys, see how how they truly fit within our scheme and. Um, have an opportunity to, to work within our offense, defense, and special teams. But, uh, you know, we, we feel really good about this class, feel good about the, the guys that we have coming to campus. And, uh, you know, I think our staff has done a tremendous job building relationships with these kids and young men and, and making sure that they know them as people and are confident welcoming them into our locker room. It's not necessarily this year's class, but as you say, most of these kids, you know, will probably end up taking a redshirt year. So we heard a lot about last year's class and, and now you get them on the field for spring and, and back up in uniform for the fall. So are you excited, you know, to be kind of through their their redshirt season and to have them out on the field? Yeah, you know, you, you look at last year's class and, and again, we felt really good about last year's class and until you have them on campus and really have a, a chance to see them work within your system, it, you truly never know. Uh, and we feel really good about last year's class and the future of our football program. We're going to be young for another year uh, at UMD, and you know we were a young football team this year that ended up being 13 and one, and we were certainly excited about that, but also didn't meet our expectations and our goals to, to start the season. So um, we're we're ready to, to add these guys at redshirt for us to our roster in spring practice and. And give them an opportunity to compete for a uh, for playing time heading into the fall. What do you think is uh, the number one obstacle for these incoming kids? You know, physically, mentally, what's kind of the number one thing you've seen over the years? Is that, is that yeah, good? I think I think the mental aspect of the game, the speed of the game, um, being able to transition, just uh, you know, the, the mental side of things is is big. And, and when you have the mental figured out, sometimes the speed of the game will catch up as well. So um, just the the practice element, the, the stress of being away from home, uh, having an opportunity to compete in the classroom as well, and then being able to do it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon uh, throughout the football season. So that's a big challenge for these, for these guys coming in. But uh, again, you know, we've, we've done our homework on these guys. We're confident that we have a really good group secured for the future of our football program.